So today we're going to talk about lichen sclerosis et atrophicus, which is a really poorly understood and what we see is in many ways poorly treated phenomenon. Uh, this is a situation where people, and it can happen in men or women, but we have only exclusively treated women, we haven't seen any men for this, that develop a loss of the tissue and specifically it's an atrophic, that's why the word atrophicus, uh, situation where people in their inner part of their introitus, the vaginal opening, start to lose support tissue. Um, it gets so bad and it's typically, not always, but very frequently is a postmenopausal situation where with the absence of estrogen, women start to lose moisture they start to lose volume and the tissue starts to get very thin, very crepey, drapey, it tears very easily. And I would guess that of all the people I've seen, the most significant symptom they have is itching. Gynecologists treat this typically by putting them on medication topically. The problem is, is that the medication they typically put them on that's topical is a steroid. Now we know from treating chronic wounds and specifically chronic scars that if we inject steroids into chronic scars we can make a, a thick bad looking scar thinner and flatter because we make it atrophic by injecting steroids. So when we take somebody that's got an atrophic situation and they're itching, and it's horrible itching, and put steroids on them, it can make it feel better for a while, but it makes the process worse. It makes the skin thinner, it makes it eventually itch more, and the volume and, and tissue underneath there is gone, it goes away. And so people come to us from really all over, now all over the country, for a treatment that we do that restores the body's tissue. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. This is essentially it's off-label use of what we're doing, but it's something we do in plastic surgery all the time. There are two different treatments we do for this. So the very first thing we do with lichen sclerosis is stop the use of the steroid. The steroids, if you look at it, is meant to be used for one week or two weeks not everyday use. And that's what the problem is, is that for many women, they can get by, use it for a week or two, uh, and then they're out of their doctor's office and they're not seen for a, a long period of time. But every time they get itchy or have a problem, they start using it again and end up with a worse problem. We do two things in plastic surgery that have been found to improve our results in lichen sclerosis. The first is we harvest tissue and or blood from people. And there are two different treatments I'm gonna talk about. The first treatment is to harvest blood. And we take people's blood and we harvest it, basically draw blood, and we spin it down into a machine that allows us to separate with a laser separator the platelet-rich plasma. The platelet-rich plasma is all the special little chemical second messengers that deal with the body's repair process. And we take that out and we inject it back then in, once we've done the laser separating, we activate it, we inject it into the area that is tender and painful. We use topical local before we do that. And that results in a repair process occurring underneath the tissue. It's not, we don't put, inject cells that are living at that point in time for some women. For others, we do. And so aside from the platelet-rich plasma, for other women that, that want to go to a next level, we actually harvest fat. We inject local anesthetic around their umbilicus. We harvest fat by doing liposuction. We do this with just with a syringe. We don't need a lot of fat. One or two thimblefuls, the size of, a, of a, um, your, the tip of your finger. We harvest the fat. We mix that with the place, rich plasma. 
we inject those fat cells and we know that when we inject the fat we're injecting the the mesenchymal stem cells that are next to the fat we can't with the FDA's blessing say we're doing a stem cell injection but we know that the the cells next to the fat cells pretty much 50 50 are mesenchymal stem cells and those stem cells will become support tissue for under the skin and so if we inject the platelet-rich plasma with all the different cytokines and uh, restorative factors, and we do it with fat and the mesenchymal stem cells that come with the fat, those mesenchymal stem cells will actually convert to the support tissue underneath the labia and the introitus of the women. We found that we're able to treat women who have had vestibuloplasties or vaginoplasties or have had other surgery or have expired all of their treatments and not had a good result and we're able to get them back to a healthy life a sexual life and they've we've found that we've been able to treat them successfully without doing any other surgery without removing tissue and and quite successfully